Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Anil and from this video we are going to start a new series with Electron JS. Maybe some of you guys don't know about Electron JS, what is that, why we use it. In this video I will provide you a basic information and introduction about the Electron JS and I will tell you what we are going to learn in the upcoming video of this series. So uh, first question is what is Electron JS? So this is basically an open source software framework. So you might be wondering that can we make the software with the JS? Yes, with the help of Electron JS, you can create the softwares in the JavaScript also, right? So uh, we will just make the software uh, desktop softwares with the HTML, CSS and JS. If you know about uh, basic thing about the HTML, CSS and uh, JS then you can easily create the Electron JS applications and uh, can you can generate the soft uh, desktop software also right so yes we can also use the react angular or view uh, with the Electron JS to make the desktop applications and the Electron JS can make application for Windows, Mac, OS and Linux also right so uh, now let's talk about the history and version of uh, electron js so the current version is 10.1.3 and uh, this is owned by the open js foundation and the first release of electron js is in the 12th december 2017 and uh, that is all basic things and uh, what we need to know about the what we just need to uh, start with the electron JS so you can see that the basic information of the JS HTML and CSS and uh, you just need to the node and NPM that should be installed in your system so that you can just quickly start with it so these are the topics that we are going to learn in the upcoming video so in the just next video we will set up the electron JS then we will make a hello world program and uh, after that we will just create a small uh, and basic application and i will tell you that how you can generate the software from this application then we will just learn what is ipc menus tray call apis shortcuts curd and how we can use the library design framework with the electron js like react and angular and much more things right so thanks for watching this video if you have still any con confusion about the electron js at the introduction or basic level then you can ask me in the comment box don't forget to subscribe my channel and like this video bye bye god bless you